What is the difference between complex and simple carbs? Knowing the answer to that could be the difference between you finding success and you struggling to find success. So that's pretty important to know and I'm about to talk about it coming up. Welcome to For Faith Fitness, the number one YouTube channel for helping you fight obesity. If you feel like you're in the middle of that fight, consider sticking around and subscribing because that's all I talk about and I promise with the right education, you're gonna win. So the first thing you need to know is the difference between them. So simple carbs are called that because they are simple. There's not a whole lot to them. Your body breaks them down pretty quickly. And so it's really about the speed of breakdown because when they're in sugar form, at that point they go into your bloodstream. Since sugars are already in sugar form, they go into your bloodstream very quickly. And if you don't need that energy right then, it's gonna be stored as body fat. This includes all the obvious things like actual sugar, um, donuts, cake, cookies, things like that. But it also includes white bread, um, white pastas, heavily refined things. Although they're not quite sugars, you don't taste it and literally taste sugar, um, they're pretty simple and they're gonna be broken down to sugar very quickly, a lot like sugars already are. Okay, so complex carbs. Believe it or not, they get broken down to the same sugars that sugars do. Obviously, there's more nutrients and stuff with them, but when we're talking about energy, they get broken down to the same thing, so it makes it different. It's that they're complex. There's a whole lot of things going on. The molecule is literally bigger than sugar molecules, so it's literally more complex, and your body takes time to break it down. It has to break it down to a sugar. Because it takes time, it slowly releases that energy. As it becomes a sugar, it releases into the bloodstream, and so it's more gradually given to you throughout the day, so it's much less likely to be converted to body fat because you have time to burn it off just through your everyday activities or a workout or whatever. This includes things like brown rice, uh, whole grain pasta, or even things like, um, believe it or not, uh, uh, potatoes, although they are a simpler sugar. Whenever you eat the skin with them, it can slow down digestion. So basically eating more whole foods, foods that are less refined, is going to be a good indication that you're eating a more complex carb. Also, complex carbs tend to come with more fiber. That is not a golden rule. It's not going to be um, every case, but they tend to have more fiber because it's more natural and fiber is something that is very natural. So now you know the difference. What can you do with this information to impact your weight loss? You can really speed it up. Okay, so first is when to consume simple versus complex carbs. I bet you might not have known there is a place for simple carbs in a weight loss program, and that is whenever it is around activity. So for instance, let's say you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something as a pre-workout snack. That jelly, um, it's, it's more complex than this, but that jelly is going to get broken down really fast. It's pretty much just a straight sugar. But you need that, you're about to need that. So if you eat and then 10 minutes of peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, you know, pretty soon after you are working out, your body's gonna use that to fuel your workout. And congratulations, a fueled workout is a calorie burning workout. It's gonna burn straight through that and then also going to impact some fat as well. So there is a place for that. And I think this is so important because if you have a sweet tooth and that's something you really struggle with, you can have your sweets. Now I'm not saying to eat a piece of cheesecake right before working out or something. We need to take this with wisdom. But if you have jelly beans or something is, is something that um, that you like to eat, uh, then you can do that right before a workout or, you know, simple candies or something like that. Cornbread, I don't know. Things that break down a little bit faster. White bread, you can take these things in before and after a workout. If you take them in after a workout, then your body's going to suck up those carbs. It's going to need the sugar to replenish your glycogen, and it's not going to be converted to body fat. The third point to remember, and this is so important if you've listened to the other two, is that it ultimately comes down to how much calories you're putting into your body. So not just how much you're putting into your body, but how many calories you're putting into your body. So I'm not saying to go out and just eat cake and you can still lose weight, but you could. I, I don't want you to do that. But you have to understand, if you only ate 1,500 calories in cake and you were working out really hard, most likely you would lose weight. Now that's not healthy at all. I'm not promoting that. Don't go do that. But what I'm saying is, is that you could eat um, around your workout some simple sugars. And if you eat 3,000 calories of simple sugars around your workout, you could have fueled your workout and done all that. And that's really great. But those 3,000 calories were not burned during your workout. So now you're going to gain body fat. Ultimately, it comes down to calories. So it's important to food log or at least to have an understanding or a meal plan or something of how much you know is going into your body because you've got to be able to control how much goes in and how much goes out, but it's really important about how much goes in in terms of eating 
Um, and that's going to be the biggest difference maker, whether it's simple or complex carbs. Complex carbs are better. I want you to eat more of those, but ultimately you could eat a bunch of vegetables. If somehow you ate 3,000 calories of vegetables, you would gain weight. So we have to remember the important thing here is calories. But I want you to eat complex carbs, not so much simple carbs. And when you do eat simple carbs to satisfy that sweet tooth, put it around your workout. If videos like these are helping you lose weight and you're interested in food logging now, then watch my next video on food logging because that is going to really help you figure out how to start food logging. It's something that takes practice and takes time, but that video will be a nice start. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you in the next one. God bless.